Hey everyone, it's Chris Spearing with Delaire Realty. If you're looking for a home in the Green Bay area and you haven't taken the step of pre-approval yet, we've got an expert today from Associated Bank in Seth Johnston. Seth, thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Chris. Hey, you know, a lot of people will go out and they wake up in the middle of the night and they're like, I'm going to search for my first home on the internet yeah. and I want to see a house tomorrow. There's a step in there of pre-approval, right? That hasn't <laughs> taken place yet. If they're not going to be a cash buyer, and yeah. how do they get to you and get that pre-approval in their hands so they're ready to look at their first home? This is a super important question, Chris. Thanks for asking this question. I hope everyone, if you're thinking about buying a house, that you come and see me as soon as possible because um, we all think that that perfect house is going to hit you when you're ready, but that's just not the case. That's not how it happens. Sometimes your friend whispers um, in your ear, oh my goodness, somebody's grandma passed away or something like that. And her perfect little clean cut home is going to be on the market. And it's Friday night and I'm at a fish fry and I can't get you a pre-approval and there's people flooding to the home and they may have an accepted offer by Saturday morning. So my recommendation is stop in, see me. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, there's no down payment. There's, you don't have to put cash down. It's just, it's an easy peasy one hour long conversation, but we can cover a lot of different um, questions that you may have. So some of the things are, Hey, what's my credit score? Is there anything that maybe I didn't know of that was on my credit report that I can easily take care of and um, thus get a better credit score and a better interest rate when that time comes? Um, what is the difference between the mortgage payment for the house that fits in my budget and the mortgage that a bank would qualify me off of. So I talk a lot about that. Do you really want a bank giving you this big number of a maximum house and then going and looking at that maximum house? Or do you want to start with a family conversation at the kitchen table looking at, hey, what are we looking to put in our 401ks? What, what's a healthy amount to have in our savings account? Um, what do we have for vacation coming up? What about Christmas spending? What about clothes? What about daycare expenses? What about all these other things? What is the amount that we feel comfortable with leaving in our home expense amount per month? And should we be then capping our house payment at that budgeted amount so that we're not in a position that we're squeezed in these other areas. And Seth, if $2,000, for example, is what we feel is our maximum that we should be spending towards that allocated monthly housing expense, what does that look like? And then we can work the math backwards. Well, $2,000 would incorporate your loan, your taxes, your insurance. Then if you don't put 20% down your mortgage insurance, so then we start taking those things out, coming back to what's left for the house payment. And if $1,500 is less for a house payment and it's $600 per every 100 grand, that might be a $275,000 house. We don't know. So we can work the math backwards based on what's in your budget. I feel that's a more um, responsible approach than just taking whatever the bank gives you for a maximum. Um, so we talk about that. We talk about um, preparing for that. We talk about um, how do we look at those homes? What about real estate agents? Uh, real estate agents is a hot topic too, because if we look at how many licensed agents there are in Brown County versus how many full-time pros there are, there's a big difference. Um, and when there's a property that hits the market right now and you need a full-time pro on the job so that they can make the time right now to take you out and look at that property. And then the moment of truth of, hey, they want 250 grand for this property. Is this a 225 grand house with lipstick? Is this a 280K house um, that's discounted? Um, what about this block foundation is this good or is this crack a bad thing are these shingles good are these windows good um talk to me about this manufactured versus modular versus conforming um what about all these differences and that's where you really need a a, a professional um, agent too and with us being the biggest uh, mortgage lender in town we work with them all and we have recommendations too like chris spearing himself who's have a lot of experience things like that so um yeah, so we talk about uh, what to expect for rates. What does that look like? What to expect for 
um, the dollar amount with the loan, um, real estate agents, how long your pre-approvals last for is your credit report about 120 days. And then we revisit it. Um, what about a conventional pre-approval versus FHA pre-approvals? How are those looked at with sellers? Um, what about the grants? What about the programs, the pros and cons? Um, a lot of different topics that we cover. Um, and usually it's just me and the clients. I'm not banging on a keyboard. It's just a uh, old pen and paper. Um, and I slide that across the table and say, keep these for your notes. Here's my number. You can text me, call me, email me, our team. Um, I want them to leave with a very comfortable feeling that um, they're able to take on this task of acquiring their number one physical asset. This is a major moment in their life and it should be really fun. They should feel secure that they're their um, questions have answers that they um, know confidently that they're doing the right thing or they shouldn't wait and build up more money or their credit score or they're working with the right team. Why Associated Bank? Why Delair Realty? Um, these are both professionals that have been around for a long time that have proven experts that are in your corner and looking out for your best interests. Um, but to, yeah, answer all those questions, but ultimately have a PDF of a pre-approval that you can email on a moment's notice to your agent. Um, and uh, the sellers typically want that pre-approval to know that you have been looked at, that they're not wasting your time um, or the seller's time making that home open for them to view. Um, so it, it's a very important thing. And for it to come from a local bank that services their loans that have professionals with 20 years of experience, um, working and looking at your taxes, your income to guarantee that pre-approval is airtight. So all the realtors involved in the sellers know that this is the real thing. So those are some of the talking points, some of the processes, how we do it, but um, get that pre-approval out right away. So if there's something you got to work on, we can get, uh, get to work on it right away. And just peace of mind to know that if the property comes up at any given moment, um, or if Chris Spearing here would message you just say, hey, we got our neighbor's house. They're not even thinking about putting it on the market yet, but you can view it right now before it hits the market. Uh, you got that pre-approval, by the way, for sure. Here it is. It's already set. So get that out of the way. Get that first box checked off. Go talk with Chris. Here's our budget um, for our house and uh, have fun. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great time of your life and inquiring um, a great asset. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. We're here for you. It's, it's something we take a great pride on helping somebody purchase their first home. Uh, we do a ton of it here, obviously, at Delaire Realty. Seth does, too, uh, at Associated Bank. But I'm the first-time home buyer. I love what I've seen here today on this video. What do I have to bring with me when I come see Seth Johnston to help make this process easier on Seth? Ah, good question. So um, most of the stuff that we need to pull a uh, credit report is your um, social security number, date of birth, stuff like that. But if you have any kind of um, non-typical income, like if you own your own business, if you get bonuses, if you get commission, um, you know, things like that where I have to take averages or look if there's any deductions that you took out in your taxes to come up with what an underwriter will use for income. Those are situations where, um, I would want you to bring your taxes, W-2s or recent pay stubs, bank statements, um, any kind of an asset that you may be using towards that down payment. And we even have a program at Associated Bank where we can send your pre-approval to a real live local underwriter and have them um, give you a stamped already um, underwritten pre-approval as well. Um, that way the loan's pretty much done. All we got to do is do the title work, the appraisal work, um, um, at that time too, if so that you feel that, Hey, if I own my own business, I have nothing to worry about. Nothing's going to come back and bite me. Those are all things that we do to go above and beyond to eliminate any concerns that you may have to make your process smooth and, uh, ultimately give you an airtight associated bank pre-approval. Now associated bank has a couple of really, uh, unique programs that they will be extra videos on that we've talked about mm -hmm. but tell us real quickly about those unique options for borrowers um when they come and see seth at associated bank yeah we got them all so imagine all the flavors at an ice cream shop that's what we have 
Um, we are one of the state's largest mortgage lenders. We want to have the largest selection of programs. We have them all. We have USDA, VA. Um, we have portfolio ones like our care product that's designed to go against FHA with only 3% down, um, giving you a conventional pre-approval, no mortgage insurance, as long as your income is under 72000 um, with properties in Brown County, Kewanee County, O'Connell County that qualify. Um, you know, we have your traditional conventional programs. We have your arms, five, seven, 10 year arms, um, pretty much everything that you can think of. Um, we have it. And that's part of our pre-approval process is we compare and contrast those programs, find out what's right for the borrower and our grants, um, credits, first time home buyer credits, things like that. We have a bank at work credit where if you work at one of the companies that banks that associate bank, you get a credit for that too. Um, so all these different flavors to pick from to ultimately find what's the best fit for you. And that's part of our consultation of looking at all that and helping you out and explain that to clients so they know they're getting everything that's available to them. Folks, this is why we talked to a pro, Seth. Thank you for your time. We'll put Seth's information uh, here for you guys to reach him. We'll have ours attached as well. We're excited to talk with anybody who's interested in looking into the market and seeing what the best fit is for them. Seth, thank you. And uh, we look forward to talking to you more in the future. Thanks, Chris. It was a pleasure. Thank you.